Hey everybody, I'm Marglefumpf, and I have no idea how to pronounce the name of this game. Jenny Leclou Detective? I think that's how you pronounce it. I think it's supposed to be French. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's get started with our mystery game. Five. I couldn't read the words on that. Arthurton, you'll never leave. Oh, I I'm sorry. I mean, you'll never want to leave Arthurton because it's such a nice, friendly place. And who's this? Mmm, some sort of spy. Okay, is this creepy or totally normal? You choose by pressing A or D. Okay, press A. Press A. Okay, press D. Press A. A. Press and hold down the A button. Okay, okay. The controls for this game are a little odd. You're supposed to play this game uh, with a controller. Okay, A and D. Okay, so A, walk left. D, walk right. You're supposed to play this game with a controller. I've tried uh, hooking up a controller to my computer, and it's not possible. It just doesn't work with my computer for whatever reason. So I'm going to control this game through a keyboard, which is a bit of a surprise. I, uh, okay, shift plus L, shift L. It's a bit of a surprise. I thought you would use the mouse in order to control this game. So when I first started up the game, I got super confused at the title screen because I kept trying to click on new game. Ah, crows, crows. But no matter where I clicked or moved the mouse, nothing happened. I actually had to look it up online, the solution to that problem. And uh, the solution is you don't use your mouse in this game. Yes, it's the, the keys on the keyboard. Okay, so rotate A and D, and then just use Q and E to move around. Okay, so I think with this puzzle, what you want to do is use the, the, the outside in. The outside in. So let's do the outer. Oh, no. Okay, so middle ring first. Outer ring next. And then the inmost ring last. That's how you solve the puzzle. That was a pretty nice puzzle. I like it. I like it. This certainly is a creepy place. And check this out. It's like a tower from out of nowhere. Yeah, so the spy is gonna go inside the tower? Yep, spy's gonna go inside. Must be a secret underground base. Cool! Jenny LeClue, Detective. Okay, who is this man and why is he sleeping? What? Uh who? Oh, I must have dozed off. Perhaps we need a spot of tea to wake us up. What do you say, Rufus? Yes, yes, quite right. Better get back to work. This book won't write itself. Maybe I should start somewhere easier. I'll come back to the prologue later. Oh, we were playing the sun a rose book. over another perfect day in picturesque Arthurton. 
Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So that was a creepy opening to a book? To the casual observer, Arthurton seemed like any other small, quiet town. It was nestled in a valley between two mountains, lined by lustrous forests, and perched on the edge of a pristine lake. It had a main street with all the essentials, including a place to sip coffee. It had schools, a college, a church, and a police station. It even had a museum no one ever visited. I it see. was the kind of place you might find anywhere on your travels. Typical, maybe even forgettable. But there was one thing in Arthurton that was unlike any other town in the whole world. Actually, it was a girl. Her name was... Jenny LeClue. And she was the world's greatest detective. Awesome! Finkelstein residence. Oh, hello, Glenda. Yes, he said he might ring. Okay, patch me through then. to get to the mystery why are we waiting on hold oh dear Richard yes I got it I did and my answer is no I understand that but we well, yes of course but no 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 nothing is settled I'm not going to do it it goes against everything my books stand for no, not yet, but if I could just please listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> it sounds like the publisher wants him to include a bunch of unicorns in his next novel, and he is steadfast against making it a unicorn novel. Okay, so what do we do here? Is the kind of place you might find anywhere typical? Uh, do I just start typing? Oh, whoa, okay. Whoa, wow. Okay, so I'm pressing the WASD buttons. I'm kind of surprised they don't have the up, down, left, right buttons, to be honest. Okay, how do I interact with anything? Is there a... Hmm... Is there a tutorial which teaches me how to get to it? What's this? Litter to Finkel fans. It's me, Arthur K. Finkelstein, and here we are at book 38 of the Jenny LeClue series. Her most joyful adventure yet. Wow, this is a long-running series, isn't it? Thank you to all the new Jenny LeClue Le fans out there. You've been incredibly supportive. To answer your questions, despite any rumors you may have heard, of course the Jenny books will continue. As long as there's ink in my pen and a ribbon in my typewriter. Why are you still writing on a typewriter, sir? Don't you know computers exist now? Yes, it will be more of the same. I refuse to change my formula. Arthurton will always be a safe and happy place. Great, great. Okay, so how do I uh, interact with things? Uh, enter button, maybe? Oh, <laughs> hey, I could have uh, used that to read the read the book instead of turning my head sideways. Okay, change page is right and left. Zoom is M. How do I zoom out? Okay, here's a list of all the various fans of Jenny LeClue. I'm pretty sure this is just a list of all the people who helped uh, pay for the game. You know, they did a fundraiser to help pay for the game, and those people donated money. So they got their name in the game as a, as a reward. Hehehe. <laughs> Oh no, can I knock this pencil off? Yes. Oh no, I'm a terrible person. Okay. Oh, I can turn the lamp off. I can't knock the coffee off, right? That would be that would be terrible. That would destroy the coffee. So what's this letter? Dear Arthur, I've got to zoom in on this. I can barely read it. 
Dear Arthur, hope all is well. Oh, this is from Richard, Richard Inkwell. Okay, so the man on the phone. I've, uh, I'm afraid I've got bad news, old chum. There's no easy way to say it, so I've attached the latest book sales numbers. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, the sales have crashed. Nowadays, young readers want more mystery and danger. You're losing them with Jenny's increasingly timid and repetitive adventures. One bit of good news, it's too late for the stores to cancel their orders for the next book, so you're gonna get one last chance, one final shot, to see if you can breathe new life into Jenny LeClue. We want you to try a proper murder mystery. Well, a proper murder mystery? But I'm not a murderer! You need to start killing people off. I said I'm not a murderer! Add some drama. Look, the bottom line is, if you don't step it up, I'm afraid it's a case of Jenny and the last hurrah. <laughs> In other positive news, someone from a real newspaper reviewed your last book. Pfft, real newspaper? This person's a hack! 38th and hopefully last book in a series, which is very much past its prime. Once a collection of mystery stories, cherished by children all over the world, has taken a nosedive into mediocrity without reservation. Worst piece of garbage I've ever read. Arthur, Arthur K. Finkelstein. Quality, complete waste of time. The only mystery is how in Arthurton. <laughs> I mean, how is this trash getting published? This reader nearly died of boredom. But the book does make a good doorstep. Okay, so... Our poor uh, Arthur, Arthur the author, he is just having a bad time. The publisher wants him to make this an extreme murder mystery, but he doesn't want it to be a murder mystery. He doesn't want tragedy. He, he wants it to be a nice, friendly story like all the other ones. I have to say, the opening seemed pretty intriguing with the spy stuff, right? Right? That was pretty cool. But, uh, I don't know. I don't think it should be a murder mystery. We've got to stick to, uh, the Jenny LeClue roots. It wouldn't be Jenny LeClue if it was, like, dirty and harsh. There was, like, murder and all sorts of crazy things. That would be something else with the same name. It would be a totally different book series. I do have to agree. I'm tired of seeing, like, these dark, gritty reboots of my, my nice, friendly, perfect series. No, no, I don't want dark and gritty reboots. I, I, I just want more cool mysteries. And what on earth do I do? Okay, so I press the Z button to escape, to exit, now that I know the story. You don't understand what you're asking for. You want me to turn Jenny's world upside down? Kill off my characters and destroy everything I've built over the last 30 years? It would increase sales. Fine. I'll give you what you want. But I warn you, I'm a stream of consciousness writer. And you have unleashed my fury. Oh, man. Good day, sir. He's totally making the culprit <laughs> the publisher. Okay, so the culprit's going to be the publisher. Warning. That's totally what he's going to do. <laughs> well, if it's murder they want... It's murder they'll get. I mean, it, it, it makes sense. So, so in my book, Stay at Home Detective, uh, the culprit is based on an annoying co-worker I had. Really hope my co-worker doesn't read the book. Perfect day in <laughs> um, yeah. But today was different. And nothing would ever be the same again. Ooh. To begin with. Jenny LeClue was dead. Gah! What? No, you can't start off the story by killing the main character. How would you? Oh, no. Her skin was pale.